Hello everyone, I'm John with JP Strategic Investments, and today we're going to go over whether or not long-term Tesla investors should care about what will likely be a very volatile ride for the stock over the next few weeks. Tesla stock has had a big run-up since the announcement of their inclusion, and it's making the probability of a large drop after inclusion seem more and more likely. Although generally short-term volatility doesn't matter too much to long-term investors because they're in stocks for three to five years or even longer. While the stock may have some downturns and corrections in the short term, as long as the fundamentals of the company stay intact, then long-term investors can just ride out the volatility, knowing that over time the company's growth will outweigh any short-term dips. Although, while Tesla stock will almost certainly be worth more in five years than it is today, does that mean that investors should never take any profits along the way? I personally have positions in Tesla, and while I do think that Tesla will be successful long term, I think most long term investors should take this time to analyze the current situation, and they should be evaluating whether or not this is a good time to take some profits or use other strategies to minimize their risk while maximizing their profits. Here are a few reasons why. First, Tesla stock has been on a huge run over the last year, up almost 800%. For investors who are truly just using the buy and hold method, this means that Tesla has most likely become a very large part of their portfolio. This means that if Tesla stock were to have a large drop, even in the short term, it could have a huge effect on their portfolio. Most experienced investors would agree that it's not smart to have any one stock be too large a portion of your portfolio, no matter how confident you are in the stock. This is because there are certain risks that are completely unpredictable that could cause huge drops in the stock. COVID is a great example of this. There are many companies whose businesses were poised for huge growth but are now barely surviving and no one could have predicted it. For this reason, I personally never let any one company become more than 25% of my portfolio and even that's pushing it. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Though. Yeah, all that asset management, you know, diversification, that's for idiots, right? But keep in mind that at the same time, I think buy and holds a crock of I think, you know, the idea that you always have to invest your, your cash is not far behind. The point here is that if at any time one stock becomes a majority of your portfolio, then it's always a good time to evaluate your position and consider selling some of the stock to mitigate your risk. Another thing that investors with over 100 shares of Tesla could do is sell covered calls. While many of you watching may not have 100 shares of Tesla, this is still a good strategy to use for other stocks in your portfolio. Right now, if you had 100 shares and you wanted to sell a call expiring just one month from today, you could sell the $800 call for almost $1,700. You could even sell the $1,000 call for almost $400. Tesla stock would have to almost double in one month to get there, and its market cap would have to be almost a trillion dollars. Even if you think the stock will continue to grow, this could be a great move because you could make money if the stock goes up and cover some of your losses if the stock drops. For those of you not familiar with options, I would recommend checking out another video on covered calls because it's one of the simplest and most effective option strategies out there. It's a great way to minimize risk while at the same time opening up the possibility for extra income. Finally, the last thing long-term investors should pay attention to is the valuation of the company. Among other reasons, this is because that if Tesla stock continues to rise in the short term, then eventually the majority of their future growth will be priced into the stock. This means that there could be a large correction or a period of time where the stock just moves sideways for several months or even years. While Tesla stock is obviously very hard to value, there is always this possibility. That being said, every investor has a different strategy and different priorities. Some of you may be young and you're willing to risk having a large portion of your portfolio in one stock like Tesla because if it drops you have time to recover and if it continues to jump higher and higher then you're setting yourself up nicely for an early retirement. Others might just not want to put in the time and the effort it takes to manage their portfolio actively in the short term and they would rather just buy and hold even if it means they miss out on certain opportunities to sell and buy back in. Whatever your strategy though as a Tesla investor, you should always make sure that you're up to date on any major news relating to the company, and it's always a good idea to go over your portfolio every few months just to reevaluate your positions and make sure your money is in the best place possible. Other than that, I wish the best of luck to all of you fellow Tesla investors, and if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and have a great day.